How's it going Lions? My name's Drew and you're watching Drew's Obsessions. Today's video is going to be centered all around hair loss and beard loss and exactly how much is normal. But before I dive into this exciting tale of hair loss, I'd like to introduce you to my new sidekick. If you caught my last video, you'll know that I announced that this video I would be getting a sidekick and I would be sharing with you guys. So I asked for some guesses and I got very few, but the ones that I did get were generally like bearded dragon and that kind of thing. Wait, let me just turn these lights on. There we go. So before we get into this video about hair loss, I'd like to introduce you to my new sidekick. I am so excited to share this with you. Just a second, please. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to my new sidekick, a chicken. Now this isn't just any chicken, this is a special breed of chicken called the Silky. So you can see that she's a little stressed right now, her mouth's open and she's uh, she's not definitely not used to this. She will have to get used to this though as she's gonna be my new uh, special pet. If you notice, she's wearing a diaper that I constructed out of a an old sock. I really wanted to get this breed of chicken because of their hair aspect, I absolutely love it. I feel like they're such an exotic bird. Let me just give you a quick shot of her. Whoa, chill out. So my fiance and I picked out three really cool chickens. This one is the has the most plumage, and I would absolutely love your suggestions for names. We've just been calling her Puffball for now. Uh, I will definitely choose one of my favorite names from one of my uh, subscribers. There you can see her little sock diaper, so I don't have to worry about her uh, making a mess in the place. So let's talk about hair loss, everyone, and what's normal. So if you feel like you're losing a lot of hair or a lot of beard hair, and you don't really know why, you're eating right and you're exercising and you're starting to think that maybe something's wrong, well, a nor there is a normal amount of hair that you lose every day and you shouldn't be alarmed about. So I'm gonna give you guys a few stats so you know uh, if you're losing the right amount of hair or an average normal amount of hair, and then I'm gonna put those stats to the test and I'm gonna test out my own hair. I haven't washed it today, I haven't combed, I haven't done anything to it, so I'm gonna simply run my hands through it as soon as I wash them uh, from anonymous over here. After I wash them, I'm gonna put my hands through my hair and I'm gonna see how much I lose so you guys can compare. So let's start by talking about the hair on the top of your head. The average number of hair on your head is 100,000 different follicles. So the average person, there's obviously some people that have more and some people that have less. So that means that every day you can expect to lose anywhere between 50 and 125 hairs normally and naturally. Now let me tell you why that is. Let me just, oh, what's that? You wanna tell them? All right, go ahead. Uh-huh. No, you can tell them, you don't have to whisper. It's cool. So basically what my chicken's telling me is that there is three phases of hair growth. You've got the antigen stage, you've got the catagen stage, and you've got the telogen stage. The antigen stage is the hair growth stage. So you can imagine every new hair follicle that grows up has a life expectancy. The catagen stage is the stopping phase. So it's gonna be when your hair starts to slow down, it's not growing as fast, and uh, it's coming towards the end of its life. And the telogen phase is when the hair is simply resting and it's sort of waiting to fall out. Now as for your beard, that's a different story. You have far fewer beard hairs than you do hair on the top of your head. The average number is anywhere between 4,000 to about 30,000 hairs on your face. So if you have a higher number of hairs in your face, obviously you have the potential to lose more than if you have a thinner, wispier beard like myself. The average number of beard hair loss per day that I've seen online goes anywhere from about 15 to up to 30 hairs per day. Okay, let's start with my hair and figure out how many hairs I will be losing by just simply bringing my, my fingers up along my scalp, clamping them down like this and pulling it just gently. I'm not trying to yank hairs here, I'm just getting anything that's tight or just ready to fall out so I can test this theory to see if that's the right number. So let me take my glasses off. Pull, 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 pull. All right, we got one super blonde hair, putting it in the hair pile. Pull, pull, gently, 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 gently. Got another one, we got one more, curly one. Just try the back. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I've got quite a pile of hair here. I'm gonna count that up at the end. Let's move on to my beard. Gentle pulls. Whoa, nothing, one. Two. Man, my beard is solid. Wow, all I could get from that whole thing without any, I didn't use any wash today, I didn't use any beard oil. Boom, that's it. Two. Two. All right, amazing. 
the results are in. I have had 19 regular hairs and two beard hairs, which means that either I'm having an amazing day where my hair has either come out already, or uh, I just haven't lost much today, or I'm lucky and don't lose as much as the average, nowhere near as much. Although that's wishful thinking, I'm sure I am very close to the average. Nobody's immune to the hair growth life cycle. All right. Now, as promised, I am going to show you guys the difference between my hair on the top of my head versus my beard hair under a 120 times digital microscope. This is pretty interesting. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys through the camera because I have to scope in. Let me show you what it looks like. So I ordered this camera off of Amazon last week. It's not uh, sponsored or anything. This is just, I bought it. I thought it would be kind of cool to check things out. And in this case, it really did work. I will put an affiliate link down below that if you like this and you feel it's useful and you want to use my link, I'll get a few pennies from your purchase if you do choose to do that. Uh, thank you if you do. But anyway, I want to show you guys this microscope and the difference between hairs. So the microscope is this size. It cost me 15 bucks Canadian. So that's probably like 11 bucks US maybe. All it takes is one AA battery. And it has a little LED light and you just place it down on top of the object right about here and you will get a crazy close up look at it in detail. Bear with me, this is not going to be amazing because uh, I don't have a macro lens. This is a, just a desperate attempt here, but let's see here, where is this? Well, there you are. So you can see the hair way down in there. Well, it's pretty incredible, isn't it? That's my red beard, you guys. It's a very, it's a very amber color. And here we are looking at it. You can have to see very small through that small pinhole, unfortunately. There it is. Wow, just absolutely incredible. You can see the thickness of it. Okay, now let's compare this with a head hair strand. Okay, here we are at 60 times for a head hair. You can see the difference already. So much thinner, much more translucent. And of course, this my hair is blonder than my beard. I was like this, I, ha I wish I had better lenses. So what do you guys think of having a chicken as a sidekick or a backyard pet? Let me know down below.